It is not my intention to be fulsome, but I confess that I covet your skull. He could wear hats. He could wear an assortment of hats of different shapes and styles. Boater hats, cowboy hats, bowler hats. The list went on. Pork pie hats, bucket hats, trilbies, and panamas. Top hats, straw hats, trapper hats. Wide brim, narrow brim, stingy brim. He could wear a fez. Fezes were cool. Hadn't someone once said that fezes were cool? He was pretty or ether had. And they were, they were cool. Life's true face is the skull. He had a skull and crossbones label on him, but I drank his poison nevertheless and loved it. Now I needed an antidote. Your skull encloses your brains. But never forget that any time you open your mouth to talk, you have opened your mind for the entire world to see what is hidden in there. Behold, said the voice, a flea beauty. It is nothing but seeming for to the uninstructed eye the world appears fruitful and sweet, yet in it is nothing but a pile of skulls, showing where others were lost as they went before. When he is born, a baby's head is filled with the knowledge of space. The circumference of his skull is as infinite as the twirlings of the universe. His eyes look out with the blur of eyes which see for all species. He has remembered his own nature from past patterns. Now his heart beats through rock, sky, oceans. He feels the silence and the sound all around the world beneath his skin. We all hold somewhere deep within us the truth we accepted in innocence. The seas, the forests, the soil, the atmosphere are all vital parts of an ongoing system. By harming any part of it we must ultimately harm ourselves. It is that simple. For a while, my self-control and my power of reason quailed to uselessness. All kinds of images swim like tropical fish in the bathosphere inside my skull. Without a response, I just stand there like an idiot. Like she just slapped my brain out of my skull and I can't think. We are only atoms trailing the carved skull wrapped inside a sunbeam. Oh, this is boring, Gideon had said in disappointment. I wanted one with a skull puking another, smaller skull, and other skulls flying all around. But tasteful, you know. She's going to want to wear your skull for a hat, Oak warns. There is an uncomfortable shifting among the ex-Falcons. Perhaps they are recalling their own choice to denounce her, their own punishment. And Cardin is going to laugh and laugh when she does. The skeleton picked up the second skull, so worn as to barely be recognizable as such. The vertebrae fell and rolled like beads from a string. Some people have superpower but not a super brain, and some people have super brain but not a super skull. <laughs>